And welcome back, rail fans. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Steve's Trains. And I'm your host, Mr. Steve. Wouldn't be a low-budget production if I didn't have to hold this camera. With the iPhone 12, unfortunately, we can't flip back and forth while recording, so we're just stuck with one view. Tonight, we're going to start a new segment where I'm going to give my opinion on new products that I receive. And tonight is no exception. We're going to call this, for what it's worth, my two cents. There it is. <clears throat> I'm getting over a cold, so I'm going to try and get through this without coughing. Tonight, we're going to look at the O-Gage Aerial Bridge Menards. And there's a SKU number, if anyone's interested, 279-8486. We have the uh, number 346 out of 500 built. These are currently selling on eBay anywhere from 215 to $300. Now you can get this bridge at Menards on their website right now. This is October 2023 and I just ordered this from their website. It was $150. You get a $16 rebate, which drops the price down to about $136. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, it's nice. It looks cool. It's going to have, it's going to find a nice little spot on the old gauge track. Now, if you're wondering, does the bridge lift? No, not for $136. It's an aesthetic piece. It's, it's all one piece. But it's nice. This is all wood. It's all wood framed. Cut construction here. We'll try and get some good views on there. It's pretty slick. It's made from plywood. At the very least. That's what the box is. I like the detail. It's fully lit, comes pre-lit. So you got lights inside. You got some weathering on the roof. And if you look right here, that's a little LED light. It's a red flashing light. I believe it flashes. And you're probably saying, well, Mr. Steve, why didn't you just lit up? It would look cooler if it was lit. Well, I agree. But unfortunately, I thought being a, a railroad, it would just wire into an accessory port. But this right here is a little wire jack. And you can go to Menards and you can get the wiring jack. Yeah, it runs on four and a half volts. And you just plug it in. It's low voltage, obviously. And you plug it in and your, your bridge lights up. I'm, I'm thinking we're going to plug it in. We're going to cut the wires. And then we can run it directly to a transformer, if, if need be. There's probably a couple different options about powering this baby up. Down here on the end, each bridge, or each tower on each end, has an LED light bar in there. A couple of LEDs. And the purpose of that is, Menards did a pretty good job, including all your major rail lines. Shall we run through? We got the Union Pacific, Norfolk Southern, Burlington Northern, Penn Central, Canadian National, The Rock, Santa Fe, Pennsylvania Railroad, Great Northern, Northern Railway, Northwestern, at the Chicago, Illinois, N and W. We got my personal favorite, the Chessy system, CSX, Western Pacific, Frisco, Sioux Line. We got the B&O Reading Lines, Illinois Central, the Milwaukee Road, New York Central Old, or excuse me, new, New York Central Old logo, and the Western Maryland Railway. So it's got a little bit of something for everybody. Pretty nice. Uh, like I said, this is all wood, all wood construction. There is glue. There's the only thing I found this is all one piece down here, right? The bridge doesn't lift. There's no electric motors, but it does have a nice real chain. You get your wheels and the chains go up in the top of the house there. 
I will have to get a little spot of glue. This one timber piece. It just come loose. Put a little spot of wood glue in there and we'll hold that baby right up in there. Not a problem. Other than that, I'm liking it. It looks good. It's got lots of character, lots of detail. And those signs, the railroad signs, you'll put them up in the window there. And then the light will illuminate through there, causing the sign to light up. Now you're wondering, according to the box, the interior dimension is four by six. And I figured what better way to test it than my schnabel. If my schnabel can fit through this opening. I figure I'm good to go. Perfect. Perfect. You just see. We got some clearance. Schnabel's about the biggest piece of rolling stock I have. And it fits in there beautifully. I'll roll right through that bridge, no problem. Get a little exterior view. Nice. So you don't have to worry about that. Menard's got you covered. You can see right down through there. Plenty of space for your rolling stock to go through. Four by six seems to be the magic ticket. Um, that's about it. When I get the power cord, we're going to get it hooked up. We'll get it lit up. And we're going to run some trains through it. I've been under the weather lately. Something going through the air. I've kind of got a respiratory illness going on. So I'm a little uh, short of breath. So forgive me there. It's just that time of the year. Every, every year when the weather starts getting cold, you know, everything starts going a heck in a handbasket. Okay, one other piece. We got a new piece of rolling stock just acquired. This is a Space Force. This is from Menards. You're like, well, that's a you know, $24 piece of rolling stock. Okay, you get what you pay for. But let, let's take a closer look at it. I like that. I've seen the Space Force. I love how the blue walkways and the ladders really stand out against the black background. That's pretty nice. I'm going to take it over here and set it on the old Bowser train bed. Now you can see from the bottom, there's pretty much, uh, well, you know, a diddly squat for detailing on the bottom. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's an air brake compressor. And the one piece of detail they stuck on there. These are real simple couplers. Nothing fancy. There's no pin to open up the coupler. That was a big drawback. So if you have an electronic uncoupler or you just pull the car up, pull that plate up, and that'll lift it. Yeah, it's, that's about the only way it's coming apart. Or if you have a higher quality car, you can uncouple it from the other car. Uh, wheels, you know, it's this ain't much better. I mean, if you ask me, I would look like some old Lionel tooling from the 1970s. Very plain, very simple, but it does the job. They actually do. If you haven't seen them in there, that's actual, they actually got real springs in them. I thought that was a nice, nice detail. I was impressed. They had about a half a dozen or so of these. And within two days, they were sold out. They were all gone. Basic, uh, nothing fancy, no uh, wood grain on the floor. It's just a flat floor in there, smooth finish. You could probably always add some freight, add a piece of rocket uh, fuselage in there. That would be cool. Pretty basic detailed on the roof. 
built 2023 by Menards. But hey, it does the job. All right. Now, I wanted to show this because somebody said that, you know, Lionel's okay for the price, right? You're getting what you pay for, which ain't a whole heck of a lot. But this is great. This is kid friendly. You got young kids, grandkids, you wanted to play with something, this is it. This is it. It doesn't get easier than that. Now, what I have here, we'll couple that together. Just for size comparison, couples together nicely with a regular Lionel O scale. Maybe a slight difference in the coupler, so you can see right there. That Menard's coupler just sticks up a little bit higher. But well, like I said, we'll give it a run around the track coming up here in another video. But yeah, someone mentioned that Menards wasn't quite the scale. And it's not quite to what we would call standard O scale. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, it's 148. This is probably closer to an 027, 150 scale. And over here, for comparison, I have a 1974 Lionel Tab Cola boxcar. Yeah, she's an oldie. I was collecting some pop cars for a while, but then I just got tired. I didn't like how the, o, the O27 didn't quite line up. But this, for O27, that's it. That's spot on. Those doors look awfully familiar, don't they? It's probably something close to some old Lionel tooling. Is Lionel presently is acquiring MTH tooling. So I'd say, yeah. Menards is an old 27 scale rail cars. But what are you going to do? I like the uh, Menards accessories. These couplers seem to line up pretty well, too. If I can get a good shot in there. Yeah, they're made for each other. So, that's it. It's all solid, one-piece construction. They did a nice job on the painting. The catwalk looks good. I like the fact that they defined it with different colors, opposed to being an all-one-color molded body. Gives the illusion that it's almost a separate applied ladder. But it's all right. This will look good sitting back on the side rail somewhere in the back of the track. You know, we're going to use some of that depth of perception you know you put your smaller stuff out in the back big stuff up front so i like it i hope you like it too i think it was uh it was a nice purchase for 24 bucks can't go wrong stay tuned we're gonna get some more menards accessories probably coming down the road here i'm gonna get over this cold and we got another video coming up on this maintenance away chesapeake in ohio Oh, and if anyone was, anyone was wondering, there it is, U.S. Space Force, old gauge box scaler, available at Menards. Sorry about the reflection there. I was trying to, www.menards.com forward slash trains. You sign up for old gauge and HO gauge news and products announcements. Visit menards.com forward slash emails. Sign up and get their emails. So, yeah. Simple, basic. Rolls like a champ. Couplers are nice. I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to stay locked up real tight and ain't going to come apart somewhere in the loop. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Mr. Steve. And until next time, happy rails. <laughs>